All right, y'all, today we are going to get into this video. Y'all can already tell by the title what we're going to be speaking about today, what we're going to be reacting to today. Testing my boyfriend's innocence. It looks, this looks very, very familiar. As soon as I seen the title of this video, I said, oh, okay, that's what we doing. That's what we doing. Y'all already know I reacted to Queen and Clarence's Testing My Boyfriend's Innocence. In here, Leslie and Josuego copying the same thing. Now, I'm just gonna say this. As soon as I seen the title, I was like, okay. They seen Queen and Clarence's, now they wanna do it too. But to be fair, Queen did say that she saw that this particular video is going viral, testing my boyfriend's innocence. So, could they have seen this from somewhere else? Yeah, of course, it's possible. I'm not denying that fact. All I'm saying is as soon as I seen the thumbnail and the title of the video, I said, man, Queen and Clarence, they are trying to be clean, Queen and Clarence. But anyway, guys, let me know your opinion in the comment section down below how you guys feel about that. But anyway, guys, let's get into the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me lit videos to react to and tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the uncle Joey Stella. Let's get right into the video. I also want to say that he does not look so innocent right here. I cannot wait until they do a testing my girlfriend's innocence and let's see you know how innocent Miss Leslie High is okay let's get into the video man so I've been seeing this trending video on YouTube and one of my friends actually did this video and I was like I gotta do this video on Josue even though I know that he's not so innocent. many things about him but yeah. he has no idea what this video is gonna consist of right this nigga look like he just woke up I feel you fam me too I don't. this video is Testing my boyfriend's innocence. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you <laughs> <laughs> okay, a fucked. series of questions and you have to answer truthfully yeah. and see how innocent you are. Mm -hmm. How innocent do you think you are? Not too innocent. <laughs> <laughs> do we really need a test for that? No, you brought us either. Do we really no, need a test for real. that? I'm a real one. I see what it is. Well, from the things that I know. He really okay, well, be real about the situation with your baby mama. That's what I want to know. But we'll start with the first question. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Hell no. Nah. Of course not. Hell no. Nah. That's true. <laughs> first question. Have Ain't you none of us innocent. a dating app? Nah, I don't. To date someone? Nah, I don't really. Nah, I don't know that neither. Those dating apps. That's childish. I'm number sorry. Number one, that's old. Number two, it's that's corny. old. corny. And number three, I never really needed a dating app. Yeah, I, I feel you. Facebook, MySpace. Yeah, Instagram. Instagram. I feel like with the dating apps, like, like he said, they're old. Like, so maybe when you're really, really young, but I feel like even when you're really, really young in this day and age, like you use social media, you use Instagram, you use stuff like that. I don't think you actually use dating sites. I do feel like older women and older men use shit like Bumble and stuff like that, and they actually do use dating sites to meet people because they're really not getting out and they really don't have a social network like that. So I feel like older people do the dating things or the dating apps. Let me know in the comment section down below if you still do dating apps or if you just use Instagram or just people in real life. So you never use a dating app to try to find a girlfriend or anything? Okay, to me, I think you done did everything. <laughs> Uh, to me, there's a lot of weird people in those dating apps. So, uh, a lot of weird away. people, is that? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Because that was on. One time I tried Plenty of Fish. Have you ever heard of that? Mm, yeah. I heard it. I heard and it. it was so many older men and creeps. That's so what I'm saying. No. It's old okay. folks. Okay, be on the dating app. innocent. So here, when did you lose your V card? My V card? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was nine years old. Nine years old? Why I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm nine years old. I don't even think. You wouldn't even potty train. You get hard nine years old, so that's, that counts. I don't know. You saying you lost it? It went in. You can say it went in. It went in. Nine years old, babe. Nine, you know, nine years old, and you know where? In the hallway. In the what? hallway. What? My apartment. In the hallway. How old was she? She had to be older. She was 13. I was nine. Damn. <clears throat> That's crazy. Wow. So, yeah. Because, yeah, you always had a thing for older women. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you ever gone skinny dipping? No. Okay. I'm a little innocent. Have you ever ran a trip on a girl? Yes. Mm. <laughs> it's so funny because him and Clarence both seem excited when they answer that question. <laughs> 
Like they would like to do it again. Have you ever slept with multiple women in one day? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> and I was young. How many? <clears throat> Should I really tell them? <laughs> Do you guys really want to know? Yeah, I did. <laughs> How many women in one day? Three. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, it's not bad. You made it seem like it was a lot more. Right, right. like Three. 10. And 10 is late. Just, just, and I was like 14. I mean, what the hell? Like 14, 15. Reckless. Whew. Have you ever had a crush on your friend's sister? No. No. <clears throat> I can think of. Have you ever told someone you love them, but you didn't? Mm-hmm. No. Because <laughs> if I tell you I love you, I love you. I can't say it just to say it. So, no. Okay. Never did. Have you ever slept? With a woman 20 years older than you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Jeez, so me. You like red, huh? She was 40. 40? 40 years old. <laughs> she was a male. He says it real proud, too. No nah, shame because, in this game. Like, nah, yeah, you, I did you, it. You can't yeah. shame me again, bro. Like, no, I keep it real, man. I like keeping it real because I just like when people lie. I hate lying. I don't like lying. So if I ask you, have you had sex in a, in a train before? In a roof, and you did have sex in the roof, and you lied to me. That's corny. Mm. Might as well keep it a buck, keep it a hundred. Have you ever had a friend with benefits? Friends of benefits. <clears throat> Everybody, I think. How many did you have? I don't know. Mm, you couple. can't count them. Not a lot. Couple. A couple is a lot, man. <laughs> have you ever skipped school to, you know, with a girl? Yeah, I did that plenty of times. Have you ever kissed more than one girl in one night? Mm, I don't think so. I don't. I don't like just kissing anybody. I feel you on that. Okay. So I don't think so. And if I did, it was like tap kiss or some shit like That's that. That's still a kiss. Cause yeah, I'm driven for. He is a real hardcore. So I just forward. can't kiss any girl. Have you ever left home? With a stripper after the strip club. No. That would you know, I just like, I mean, I just like strip clubs. And if I do, I would just have fun there, <clears throat> throw some money and whatnot, and keep it pushing. Have you ever vandalized someone's property? No. Okay. Have you ever dated two girls at the same time? Meaning like you had like two girlfriends or something? No. Have you ever stole? Like stole steal anything? Like from a store or something? From anywhere. I feel like everybody yeah, has stole not. something. Even dumb shit. I was probably like 15, 14, 16 or something. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, it is, it is stealing. So in Target, <laughs> in Target, I switched the cover of my iPhone. So I put the old one. That's clever of you. Yeah, I put the old one in the new, we don't case, in the new box, and then I put the new case in my phone. And then when I, I was leaving the out the door, they said, "Come over here, stop, stop." And he ran, didn't he? He didn't pay for this. He didn't pay for that. And they they knew and you swapped it. Yeah, I swapped it. And they took me to the back. And they um, put me in a room. They took pictures run. of me. I was banned for like a, a year in Target. I'm like, damn. Like, if I murder somebody, I'm like, yeah, I got the money <laughs> At least right you now. go to jail <laughs> or uh, <laughs> juvenile. Right now, I can pay. They wanted and to they was teach not you having, a lesson. Yeah, they were not yeah. having it. I was 16. And I was with my mom, but she didn't see me do that. Damn. So, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing as fuck. Okay, this is the last question. Have you ever dated a friend's ex? No. I like questions. You know, I like when Leslie asks me questions. You know what I'm saying? Because we being open-minded. You got to be open-minded. Yeah, and that's I don't a fact. like lying to Leslie. And be I'm honest. Like, Honesty is the best policy, yo. You got to be real with me because I like somebody that's real. Facts. You got to accept the real. Don't lie. Don't lie. Yeah, I don't have any 
more questions, but it is true. He likes to be really honest and like brutally that's good, honest, though. even if it hurts your feelings. That's good. He though. is that type of person to I'm be really, to. really, really honest with yeah. you. And he's not gonna sugarcoat. He's not gonna lie. You gotta be a real one. Or any of that. <clears throat> so. So let's be honest about what happened with your baby mama. You know, it's tough to. Uh, it's tough to. It's hard to swallow. It's hard pill. to swallow. It's a hard one to swallow sometimes, but I do admire someone who is blunt and truthful. Yeah, me if too. If they're doing it because they want to see you better, I respect or that. They want to see you grow. That's good. But some other things, some things are better left unsaid, and that is a fact. True. And that is the end of testing my boyfriend's innocence. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. I'm about to go eat some pizza, man. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe as you hit that bell to be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me lit videos to react to a tell a friend, a tell a friend, tell an angel mama, the tell an uncle Joey, still a heart. We'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.